finally made it to the Velisca Axe Murder House. Holy oh Jake. Holy oh Jake. Oh my god, did you say something? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I just stepped out here, that was it. I didn't say a word. You're scaring me. <laughs> um so here we have a story of a family. There were six children total that were murdered here by an axe murderer and two adults. It was two neighbor kids and the family had four kids on their own. They have no idea who the suspect was. He allegedly waited up in the attic before midnight and he was here before anyone had seen. Anyway, we're going to see tonight if we can get any evidence that supports this place being haunted. I hear that it's got residual energy. I saw pictures in, in one of the rooms where people allegedly got scratched here. I don't really think that's a common thing, so for it to happen, it would be quite the miracle if it happened tonight. We would actually welcome that. <laughs> Michael's here, aka Glowing Ghost Paranormal. That would be pretty amazing if we got that tonight. If we don't, it's also okay. I'm pretty excited to be here anyway. Let's get to the investigation. Also, I believe it was in 2014, there was a paranormal investigator that came here on his own and apparently trigger warning but he self-harmed i believe it was something along the lines of mental illness i'm not sure but i feel awful that that happened he said he heard voices there's not many updates on that case but it's something to note this is where two of the children stayed i believe it was the neighbor's children and i think they were the last to be murdered in this house because the axe murderer started from the attic and worked his way down and i believe the parents were his first victims this room was occupied by ina and lena that's so sad this is the kitchen I love the stove. It's very old, very antique place. And look, that says 1912. That's so cool. There's not a lot of places to hide. So it's quite obvious that the murderer did get in while they were missing from the home because it's, it's small. There's not many areas you can really hide. This here is across from the attic where he supposedly was staying. So here, this was occupied by the parents, quite young. And that's where uh, supposedly the ax murderer swung back so hard fucking hit the back end of the room onto this bed and I believe this is the original bedding or something because it's quite old I would think it would be but yeah I can't it's not very pleasant um that's a chill like that's one of the scariest things to me is the whole home invasion aspect of it because that's one of the things that I get afraid of when I'm home alone by myself. Yeah. It's like, I'm never afraid of like the ghosts or goblins. I'm scared of like the real life stuff. And to imagine just be like going to bed at night, going to sleep, and then some jerk crawls out of your attic with an axe. Here are the four children that stayed up here. And I do believe all of this is original stuff because it's got holes in it and I can only imagine that, I don't know about the toys, but I do know the bedding seems more original. So 
So like. Did you hear that? So like. Did you hear that? Yeah. So like, years ago when it was some religions, when somebody passed away, they would cover all the mirrors mm -hmm. because they were afraid mirrors were portals and they didn't want people to get stuck in the mirrors when they're crossing over. Um, so they covered all the mirrors for a certain amount of days to ensure that the soul would pass over. Um, and then they also cover them to make sure nothing crosses okay. in comes out of yeah them. like the whole theory of the portal mm -hmm. that i don't believe in let's take a gander to the axe murder room, our final spot. I bet he was looking out these windows a lot too. Mm -hmm. I don't know why there's money in the ceiling. It seems bizarre. <laughs> like, I don't think you can get very lucky from this attic. I think if anything, it's just like, somebody with either mental illness or somebody who was just a very angry person <coughs> stayed in here. That is really weird to put money in. Yeah. It's almost like an offering. Yeah. But like... To, it, for what, the axe man who murdered everyone? <laughs> but there's money here, there's money there. Oh, there is. I'm not quite sure what that means. I think we're about ready to start investigating and let's see what happens i don't know i feel like i feel like a presence is here but i can't see anything obviously we keep hearing noises from the attic which is where allegedly well apparently the murderer was in so we're gonna try amy's crypt app ghost tube vox we're gonna see if we can get any voices in here who's here with us brock, brock? did it say brock That's what it sound like. <laughs> Brock, were you one of the family members? Or were you the murderer? Can you say hello to us, please? I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. That's what it sounds like. Did you have mental health problems? Okay, you sounded aggressive. <laughs> and I heard something behind me too. Yeah, I did too. Is that you? Okay. I don't want to talk to the murderer unless you're going to tell us who you are. Suddenly got quiet when I said that. Great. Now nobody's going to talk to <laughs> Tell us who did it. Since you're a coward. It came from downstairs. Almost like the door. Almost like somebody coming in. Like I could feel it on my, on like sitting here. I could feel that. 
Yeah. Was that you downstairs? Are you downstairs because you're a coward? You had to murder people while they were sleeping? And you murdered children. That's pretty cowardly. And pathetic. That thing. Did you want revenge on the family? Was it money? Was it personal? What was the reason? Talk to us. Let's say something, that's what it sounds like. Huh? Hiding from us like you did the family, huh? Out the window. Amityville horror. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it's good because. I mean, I feel like if we're taunting the worst one, I feel like that could debunk a lot, you know? You haven't said anything significant yet. And that's all you want to hear, something that's worth hearing. Did you hear something? If you want us to leave this attic, tell us to leave. Tell us to get out. Don't. Don't. Like how, I wonder what they had in here when he was hiding. Because it's a creaky room. He had to be super steel. And I'm thinking they didn't check here, I'm guessing. Because unless this was full me did you check it because i think like the way it's set up is like i think that was a closet and then you know how it has the little door into the attic yeah and so there's probably a closet that they used and never came in here unless they needed to gotcha definitely like this was a closet and inside the closet was a small opening to the attic so they probably never went back there yeah Michael and I just heard a little kid's voice. Not sure if it was paranormal, but... I don't think it's from outside because it's almost 8.30 at night. It sounded like a little kid's voice, so I feel like it would be inside. Yeah. Well, it was weird, for sure. He got out the ball and it seems like it started then. Okay. Yes, we're gonna roll the ball. I got the ball right here. If you guys want to play catch, see, y'all seem to like this game. Who wants to come play with the ball with us? You want us to roll it to you next? Get ready to catch it. Oh, there it goes. Can you get it? Roll it to me. Roll it 
an Estes method session in the attic and this sh this could get interesting did you hear cat he can come too <laughs> oh yeah kitty 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 open the door he's going around it hi kitty hi what Tell me. Oh. All right. Let's go. My heart. Yeah, it's black. No, it's not. <laughs> oh. We have a cat visitor oh up here. What, kitty? We can't let you in. I feel bad. No, but y'all remember that because. I hope it runs again because it's probably one of the things that people mistake for like footsteps or for because it was running across the roof. Yeah. And if you weren't paying attention, you would have thought it was like a spirit footsteps or running. Yes, or like a child sound. Mm-hmm. Hi, cutie. Let's see. Listen. Let's see if he runs again. See, that could easily sound like footsteps if you weren't. Yeah, so if anybody, like, tried to make you believe it was footsteps when it was a cat, here's your debunker right here. <laughs> yeah, and the cat isn't, like, a one-off. Um, I've been here three times. Every time I've been here, the cat's been outside. Um, and even when I checked in this time, he said, there's a gray cat that's always around. Don't let it in. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> so... <laughs> Hello? Hi! Hello? <laughs> Hi, I wish I could let you in, but we can't, okay? You gotta find your home. No. <laughs> Hi. 
hello. Hello, is anyone here with us? That way? Where's that way? What's your name? Are any of the children here? Uh, sound like, like every mortal. Are you like, not sure what that means? Who killed you? What was the person's name? It sounds like medical. Medical? Hi. Hi, what's your name? Tell me your name. I'm Joey. Michael is the one who's using you to talk. Did you live here? Days. Days. Over there. Is your bedroom upstairs? Right now. Is your bedroom upstairs? You, it's like you, you just know, or I don't. Can you pull on the back of Michael's jacket? Can you pull at the collar? Let us know you're here. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I just. Oh. The argument? Was there an argument here? Is that why you killed someone? Or who. Someone murdered you all? Michael. Michael? It was a child's voice, but I couldn't hear what they said. Hi. You can play around with Michael and pull at his collar. Or you can rub his back. Here. Hi. You want to play around with Michael and play a game? He doesn't know I'm asking to do that. So tap his shoulder. Tap it real hard. Play a game with him. Can you tap it again? I think you I think you did. Make them. You can speak through Michael if you want to. Do you have a message for us? It almost sounded like I said, what do you say, Michael? <laughs> Maiden. Tap, tap his left shoulder. And then tap his right shoulder. See if Michael says something. Go ahead. Attic. Yeah, come up here in the attic. I almost feel like somebody's touching my hair, my head. Who's touching his head? Are you one of the children? Get out. Why? He knows something. Who knows? Who's he? Go. No, tell me who he is. Who? Yes, tell me who he is. Who are you talking about? 
You're asking me? Yes, I'm asking you. Tell me his name. Torture. Torture? Are you talking about the one who murdered you? Something dark? Who's dark? Who did it? I'm not afraid of him. We want to know the truth of what happened. We're currently in the parents' bedroom. Um, it seems that this was the first area where he struck and we haven't, it's kind of like in the hallway. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting spot for a bed. It's a weird spot for a bedroom, isn't it? Like this yeah. is, like you would think this would be like just like a sitting area or something because there's no privacy. Yeah, there's absolutely, yeah, there's no way you could get busy with it over here. But like, cause there's this steps down here. So it's really, yeah, not a good place for the parentals. Anyway, we're gonna see if we get any kind of response right now. And yeah, we're just chilling. Is anyone here? I heard something. I heard something over there. Who's here? Did you have fun playing with Michael earlier? He felt you. Can you tell us your name? 